fluffs welcome back to our channel i am here with danny and his cuddle buddy and today we are going to be telling you how i like to look after my senior alaskan malamute so these are the things i found that worked for my dog they might not work for your dog um, but if they do then great we're glad we could help you um, but if they don't work then you can keep trying things and find something that does work for your dog because all dogs are different and they need different ways of being looked after and that is how we found um, the best way to look after Danny just by trying different things and finding the one that worked so we hope you enjoy this video and let's get started Okay, so before I start explaining how I like to take care of Danny in his old age, I just want to say that I keep getting comments on this channel that say that Danny is fat. He is not fat. He is like a completely normal weight. He's just super fluffy. And I know he looks really big, but he's not fat. Like all this, this is fluff. It is not fat. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, Let's start with walkies. So when Danny got a little bit older, when he was about 10 years old, he started limping when he was walking. And we found out that it was because his paws were starting to dry out and get all cracked. And after many trips to the vet, um, we finally <laughs> discovered that um, it was his feet that were kind of hurting him a little bit because he was so old that they just started to dry out and crack so so to fix that problem we got him these dog booties and I know I say this in like every single video about Danny but he loves these boots he wears them on walkies all the time and it really does help him like he walks so much better when he has his boots on and he really likes his boots. I have a lot of people come up to me and say that their dog will not wear the boots and they do that like weird walk thing where they flick their feet because they find it really strange. Um, the only thing I can tell you about that is try and make the boots a good thing. So when you put the boots on your dog, you can give them treats and pats and lots of praise and make it a fun experience. Um, but if that doesn't work, then you can try other things like we tried coconut oil and paw balm. Um, that might work for your dog. It didn't work for Danny. Um, but then we found these boots and they're just great for him. So yeah, boots on Danny when he's older is how we like to take care of his feet so that he can go on his walkies, which he loves. So the next thing about walkies I want to mention is that as Danny got older he started slowing down a lot so he walks very slowly now. Um, so we do not like to overexert him. We only take him for 20 minute walks about twice a day. If he's feeling really energetic we'll take him out three times a day. Um, but we only walk him very slowly so we go on nice gentle walks for him because He's old and he just doesn't have the energy to go on really long hikes or anything like that anymore. So yeah, we like to do that. And also when we cross the street, um, I like to walk Danny as close to my side as possible. Because he walks very slowly, the cars, like the people in the cars get very impatient and they tend to turn the corner before we've even finished crossing the road so to make it a little bit more safe for this old guy i like to walk him right next to me like right by my side um so yeah that's what i do and he can't help walking that slow that's just how he is so that's what i like to do when i walk him now the next thing I'm going to mention is, um, you might think it's a bit gross, but it happens, and it is incontinence. So when Danny got older, um, just recently actually, he started to 
become incontinent and have little accidents inside. It hasn't happened that often yet. It's only been a few times, um, but it has happened and usually it's when he's asleep, so he has no idea that he's doing it. We do not scold him or yell at him for this because he cannot help it, so please do not yell or hit or scold your dog. They cannot help it and it's not their fault. It just happens when they get older. Um, we only train Danny with positive reinforcement because we love him. Um, so yeah, the only thing that we can do with that is just clean it up and move on. So yeah, um, as he gets older and it gets to become more of a problem, we're going to look into doggy diapers for him. It hasn't gotten to that point yet, but I'm hoping that they make diapers for dogs that are big enough for him when he does get that old. So yeah. And the next point I'd like to mention when caring for my senior dog is hygiene. So when Danny was about ten and a half, um, he couldn't handle eating some of his dog chews that we used to give him that used to clean his teeth. Like he, it just would make him sick and his tummy would be all funny. So we stopped giving him those. He still has dentist sticks because they're still okay for him and they clean his teeth. But because he wasn't getting as many chews, we um, started brushing his teeth more often. And you have probably seen this in our video if you watched the day in his life video. Um, my husband was, was brushing his teeth. So we just used doggy toothpaste and a doggy toothbrush and brush his teeth. Um, and that just helps to get rid of the plaque on his teeth and also to stop um, bleeding gums and that sort of thing. So yeah, we like to brush his teeth more often now that he's older. And the last thing I would like to mention um, how we look after Danny is his medication. So when he started limping, we took him to the vet and the vet told like suggested we try out some medication for him so we tried three different medications and the first one did not work at all we saw no difference in him because he was limping and his joints were sore and it didn't make any difference so we tried the second medication the vet recommended and that one worked really well but it just made Danny really um, lethargic and tired and it looks like he was just out of it. Um, you know, like when you come out of surgery and you're all groggy and tired, that's what Danny looks like he was experiencing all day. So that didn't work for him either. And we tried one more um, medication, which worked great for him. It made him more energetic and have less pain in his joints. So um, we have been using that for about a year and a half now and it is called Deramax. We give him one tablet with his food every morning and we also get him checked at the vet every few months or so because this medication can affect their kidneys. So he gets blood work every few months just to make sure that his kidneys are okay and they're perfectly fine. He has been fine on this medication for a year and a half. So yeah, he gets that every day. And it just makes him feel so much better. He has more energy, he's happier, and his joints aren't as sore. So yeah, um, those are the things that we like to do to look after our senior doggy. <laughs> um, so if you have a senior dog as well, leave some tips for us below what you like to do to look after them, and please follow Danny on all his social media and subscribe to his channel and we'll see you next time. Stay fluffy! Bye!